Hello and welcome to a cool smartphone unboxing of the Sony Xperia T. Now this is um, a brand new phone, I haven't unboxed it yet, so um, we're doing this all live. So let's take the box lid off and get the phone out first of all. Now I'll pop that to the side and we'll come back to it in a moment. See what else we've got in here. So just a piece of cardboard separating the outer from the inner box. And then we have our earpiece buds. Our headset. And on the headset you have a three pole, three and a half mil jack. And then a push button microphone and in-ear style headphones. Personally not a fan, uh, but each to their own. You then have a USB to micro USB charger at data sync cable and your plug socket which folds down flat and is a USB on the end. Last but not least, a couple of little bits of information from Sony that you get with every phone these days. So that's what you're getting in the box. Let's have a look at the phone itself. So as we can see, the phone is dominated by the 4.6 720p screen. Um, we also have a front facing video camera capable of recording at 720p and a light sensor, forward facing speaker and right down at the bottom you have a pinhole microphone. On the left hand side you have a USB input which is also a MHL input for uh, high def viewing on the right hand side you have the camera key down at the bottom, volume down, volume up and power key. Underneath you have the SIM card slot um, which houses your SIM card and also a USB, sorry, a micro SD card which is compatible up to 64 gig. NFC sticker on the back just to indicate where the NFC sensor is 13.0 megapixel camera with Xmore R sensor LED photo light Xperia branding and also your rear speaker up the top lastly you have a 3.5mm headphone jack and a pinhole for the microphone so that's the phone first and foremost let's get this turned on now I have taken the liberty of going through the startup uh, just to get the phone set up. Um, at least I thought I had, apparently I haven't. So we'll just quickly breeze through that. This is pretty much the same for any modern mobile phone these days. I'm not going to sign in with my Google account at the moment. And that should be us. So as you can see, it's starting up straight onto the home screen. Um, and you can see that the screen is very, very crisp. As a comparison, I'm just gonna bring in a Samsung Galaxy S3 here. Now this is my own phone. Um, and this is going to be what is being replaced by the Xperia T. So as you can see they are both very very clear on the screen fronts. Let's just have a little look at the gallery in both phones. So the galleries are both very very different. And the brightness, I believe, on the um, 
Xperia is turned down at the moment so let's just try and fix that for us just to give you a true test with maximum brightness there we go just pop back in there now try and get a full screen photo there you go so as you can see very very quick very smooth scrolling through photos not much of a difference to be honest I would say it's imperceptible so that is the Xperia T Sony's latest flagship um, this has been an unboxing for a cool smartphone um, if you have any questions and you have any suggestions of what you would like to see in the full review then please feel free to put it in the comments or also post on the forum. Thanks very much and I hope you enjoyed it. Cheers.